Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Display Recorder. Now this is not the Display Recorder that you can get with Insidia, but this is a new Display Recorder that uh, you can purchase without being jailbroken. So you can purchase this within the App Store right now for your iOS devices, which uh, is really awesome. I've been waiting a long time for something like this to come out, um, and it has finally come out. So it's it's pretty cool. If you're interested in purchasing this app after you're done watching the review, you can buy it for just $2.99 on the App Store right now. So uh, anyway, let's get right into the review. So first off, this is the interface that you're going to be greeted with right when you open up the app. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty nice looking, pretty sparse, doesn't have a whole bunch here, but you know, definitely enough to work with. So right here, you have your record button, and then of course your stop button, and then your um, your time right here. So it shows how long uh, the recording has been going for. Then, <clears throat> excuse me. Then you can go down here, and you have three other different tabs. You can go to right here, and you can go recent uh, recent items, and so it'll show your recorded items right here. I only have one right now, but uh, so you can click on that. You can preview it if you want, or you can uh, go right here, and you can add a title, description, or a category on here. All right, and then you can go into settings as well, and this is uh, this is the part. This is the good part of it. Um, so this is where you can change, you know, your video quality, your video size, orientation, uh, capture method, and all that good stuff. Uh, record type, you can record audio and video, audio only, video only, uh, anything you want. I have it set to video only right now. Now, when it says audio and video only, it means uh, audio from your mic, all right? So not system audio. I kind of wish that they did have a system audio, but uh, you know, oh well, not a big deal. And then it has max duration. I have it, to, I have it set as unlimited. And then I have the video quality set to high and uh, video size, full size, orientation, portrait, um, all that. And uh, then the rest of this is pretty good just to stay the way uh, the way it is. By default, it works pretty well. And then, of course, right here, you just have help, which is taking a while to load. But anyway, so that's self-explanatory. Uh, so we're just going to start a little recording. Just hit the record button. And as you can see, it's uh, now counting down the time. And uh, then when we want to stop it, just press that button and then go to your recorded items and as you can see it shows up right here and then you can just hit this play button and then it will show up and there's our recording so that's the recording that we just took and uh, so let me just go done and so then you can watch it view it from there you can upload it right here you can upload upload to YouTube export to photo library uh, you can or you know open in any other maps if you have VLC map app or anything so uh, I'm just gonna get out of the Get out of that. Um, oh wait, I don't want to export, sorry about that. Um, but anyway, so that is basically kind of the overall gist of this app. It works really well, I like it a lot. Again, only $2.99, so I'd highly recommend it, guys. Overall, pretty good quality app, and uh, like I said, I'd recommend it. Thanks for watching, bye.